Good morning, boys and girls. How are you all doing? I know you all are a little sad that you all cannot sit with your close friend, with your best friend, with your girlfriend. Okay, not there. Fine, fine, no problem. Welcome you all on this Sunday's Sunday School, which is the online Sunday School. For the past two sessions, you all have learned about Jesus and his parables. So, can you all like tell me something about what you all have learned? You all can WhatsApp it. Don't worry. Okay. So today I will be teaching you all another of the parable that Jesus spoke to his people about. He spoke to his disciples. He spoke to his followers, and he spoke about this parable, the sower. I want to ask you all a question. Have you all ever planted a seed? Yes. The entire joy that you have when you all go. and water the plant water the soil water that seed and you all are so excited to see that sprout the thrill that you all have when it just grows and comes out aren't you all excited as well done it like isn't it very exciting to see a plant grow is it not and if you all have not done it baba what are you doing go go now to the kitchen and ask mom for some cereals or some grain and put them in the soil and do this do this exercise for today for this week not only this week this month this year you all have to do it like how can you not see a plant grow and now if you now you don't ask me questions like where to get soil and all that huh? don't ask me this rubbish question if you all can't find the soil go take up glass put stones in it and put the grain let me see then you tell me what exactly happens like send me pictures about that so like agree right there is so much of excitement when you all are planting a seed you all go and water it daily so that's basically about what the what today's topic is that is the parable of the sower in the parable of the sower let me just start with a small little example have you all ever seen the struggle of an olympian somebody who's won an award somebody who's won a gold medal or somebody who's won a medal somebody who's got recognition an olympian an athlete have you all seen the struggle that they have don't they also face okay before i get back to the struggle that they have let us watch a small little video will you all watch it cool and after that if you all have questions you can ask me so let let us watch this video attentively probably walk over setting up the spin thank you focus 14.9 now i'm thinking she's happy with that girna sabko hai tumko bhi ye jaan kar bhi kadam badhao jab tum giroge मैं भी गिरूंगी जब तुम गिरोगे मैं भी गिरूंगी पर उठना तुम्हें अपने आप सीखना होगा गिरने से कभी मत डरो क्योंकि उड़ते वही हैं जो गिरने की हिम्मत रखते हैं एक दिन उड़ने के लिए हमें हर दिन कुछ करना होगा इसीलिए हर रोज पौन बेटा डिड यू ऑल एंजॉय द वीडियो यस Did you all see the the struggle that the boy had, the but the but the equal excitement when he won and when he achieved something, the obstacles that he faced. He was not good at it, but he didn't give up. He kept on going, kept on going, and kept on going. To which his mother also was supporting him. His mother is always always with him by his side and telling him, "Baba, don't give up. Just do it." 
So this is where the parable of the sower comes. The mother is the farmer. She doesn't give up on her soil. She doesn't give up on her crop, sorry. She, the farmer goes in day in, day out and waters the plant and sees that particular plant grow and makes sure that the bounty of it, the crop that you get, the fruit that you get is fruitful. But the struggle and the obstacles that he faces are exactly like what we are going to learn about it today. He also faces a lot of obstacles, a lot of troubles, but he doesn't give up. And because he doesn't give up, we are, we get the fruit from it. So we enjoy that the banana, the, the apple, the corn that you eat, which come out in plenty because of the, because of the dedication, the thrill, the excitement that the farmer has. Do you all understand? Okay. Now let us go into the parable of the sower. Boys and girls, imagine I give you all a bag, a bag full of seeds in it. And I tell you all, go and plant these seeds. So now because you all have so much, now imagine, okay, now we all imagine at the parties that you all have gone and you all have collected so much of confettis, now you all have to throw the confettis away. You throw it here and throw it there and throw it everywhere. So some will fall next to your feet where you're standing, which is the road. Some will fall maybe on the chairs and the tables and some probably will fall on the other side of the ground. So that's exactly what happens in today's parable. In today's parable, Jesus tells us there was once a farmer who takes his bag full of the seeds that he has and he goes around throwing this seed for during harvest time. In this, some of the seeds fall on the path where he's walking. Some fall on stony ground, which doesn't have a lot of soil. So when the crop comes up, just not even the crop, it is just about to sprout and the sun damages it. Some falls in the thorns where again, the crop is just about to grow. The thorns crush it and put it down. And some fall on good soil. And the good soil is where we get all the good crop from. So this is basically the parable of today. Now you would tell me what is Jesus trying to tell us from this parable. Aren't you also as students facing that same difficulty? Maybe someone is weak in maths. Someone's weak in science. Someone's weak in history or someone's weak in geography. This weakness that we have is all obstacles. But still... The dedication and the hard work and the commitment that you all put in during these exams is what matters. Is the is the what you say is the fruit that you benefit from it. So you cannot give up in the middle. And neither and the best and the farmers in your life are your parents who don't give up on you. They will make sure that you achieve good marks in your exam. And that is precisely the point of this parable where Jesus tells us that you cannot give up on obstacles you cannot give up because you have a small stony road you cannot give up on the faith don't you also have some doubts on your faith sometimes you had a very difficult exam and your mama or dada tells you just pray to God and don't worry you will do all right You've prayed, you've gone for the exam. But after the exam, because it was difficult, your faith is shaken. Your faith, you wonder to ask God, did I actually do right? Are you going to help me? Jesus, please help me in this paper. From next time, I will study hard. Don't we all do this? Don't we have our faith shaken over there? That's what Jesus tries to tell us. That the you getting, you Questioning of faith, you questioning yourself is basically the obstacles of a stony, of the seed that falls on stony ground or of seeds that fall on thorns. But God tells you that don't be afraid. Jesus tells you don't be afraid. Have faith. Have faith like the seed that fall on good soil and you will reap the benefits in 30, 60 and 100 fold. So hence, your faith, your faith should not be shaken. And you 
so be confident that whatever i do jesus is there by my side and he's going to help me support me and walk me through this path and that is what i want you all to do from today will you all friends do it from today yes so do you all want to be the seeds that fell on path and do not have any faith no right do you all want to be the seeds that fell on stony ground and have no faith yes no okay no do you all want to be the seed that fell on rocky on the ground which has so much of thorns do you all want to be that seed which has a little faith but as soon as some problem comes baba re baba you all have lost everything and you'll be like satyanas but all or do you all want to be and i hope that you all don't want to be that or do you all want to be the seed that falls on good soil and it's so good and that your faith is so strong that you all benefits 30 60 and 100 folds from whatever you all had i do you all want to be that yes exactly and i know you all have that faith in god so from today whatever happens to us we will not question our faith in jesus we will make sure that whatever we do we have we do with utmost confidence because he is there by our side and he is going to take away all our sorrows all our pain all our shame all our sickness and he's going to make us all right we, so we are not going to question our faith at all theek hai fine okay now what i want to do, do is i know you all have understood what i said but let's just animate this and that you know let me like just show you some video so you all can understand this better and you all can explain it to your parents also because that is what you all have to do now you all are big children you all are not children anymore you have all received first holy communion this year some this year some last year so all 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 you know i would say all are the like grown up now you are like mature boys and girls so now you all have to just watch this small video till i come back i'm going to take one more small water break so i'm going to come back with this and you all watch this video and then i will ask you some questions and then you all have to answer fair enough cool one day a farmer went out to sow some seeds as he walked along he threw the seeds wherever he went each seed was the same bright and green and full of the potential for life some of the seeds fell on stony ground there was nowhere for their roots to grow they just sat there birds spotted the seeds from the air they flew down and ate them up some seeds fell on rocky places where there wasn't much soil they quickly grew at first but the soil was shallow and when the sun came up they withered and died because they had no root some other seeds fell among thorns The seeds started to grow but the thorns grew bigger and they choked the new plants so they didn't produce any crop they just disappeared but other seeds fell on good soil they grew and grew strong and bright 
and the life in the seeds bore an amazing crop, some with 30 grains, some 60, and some even a hundred grains of corn. My dear friends, did you all enjoy that video? Yeah? Did you all love to see that animated part of the sow and how he was going and sowing all the crops that he had in his bag? And that animation of the thorns coming up. So did you all like the video? Yeah. So the whole point of this entire parable is that unlike the previous parables that we learned, the parable of the leaven and the dough and the second session that you all had which is the parable of the mustard seed, both of them were parables about growing from small to big which is where we see the kingdom that grows from small to a big kingdom. The mustard seed was small. The harvest is plentiful, right? So, that is what the parables were about. But the parable of the sower is quite contrary to what we learned in the previous session. In this, we see the entire process of sowing to harvest. We see how the farmer gains a bountiful, in spite of the obstacles of the soil, the, the stones and the thorn that he has. Do we also have some of these obstacles in our life? Can you, do we have some of the, can you tell us about some of the obstacles you face in, uh, during exams? Maybe I am not good in maths. Maybe I was not good in music. Maybe I don't, I cannot understand history and geography. Are there some of the obstacles that we face in our own houses? I've come home early today and I open the fridge and I find two delicious cheesecakes. One's for me and the other's for my sister. But I end up and I'm so tempted to eat the second one because the first one is so yummy. And I want to eat the second one and say to my sister that it doesn't make sense. Or I get a, I get a gift. But I also want what my sisters got. Are these obstacles that we face? So yeah. So yes, boys and girls. That is what God tries to tell us. That in life, we will have a lot of obstacles, a lot of failures. Sometimes we will question us. But these are the failures and these are the obstacles that are going to make the person who we are. Even an athlete faces a lot of obstacles of going through rigorous hard, hard work every single day. But ultimately the end motive is success. What looks at what, what people see is success. And that is what God is trying to tell us. That is what the, even there's a, there's a famous proverb that says, failures are a stepping stone to success. So from today, we will not look at failures saying, God, why me? Why only me? Why are you not giving this to that person? Why all the troubles are coming to me? But we will be happy that these troubles, are, troubles and these failures are only making us stronger. Yeah? So that is what we are going to practice from today. That we will not cry about troubles and failures and all these disappointments that we have, but we will be happy that God is giving them to us because he's making us stronger and stronger by the day. Yes? Fair enough? Now, children, what I want you all to do is, this is the time where we read the scriptures and we see what God is trying to tell us. So I would be reading out the parable from the Bible. But before that, I want to see you all sit in a very comfortable position. Make sure your hands are faced downwards and are placed in your lap. So close your eyes and just breathe for some time. Forget about whatever thoughts are in your mind. Forget about all the distractions that you'll have. Forget about you worried about tomorrow's pool that you'll have to sit in front of the screen once again. 
forget about all the other worries that you have. Just sit quietly in a comfortable position. Close your eyes. And just breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come on, close your eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay in this very position. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And I will be reading the scriptures to you. Mark chapter 4 verses 3 to 9. Listen. A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and it sprang up quickly since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no roots, it withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. It yielded no grain. Other seed fell into good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. And he said, Let everyone with ears to your listen. Continue staying in a prayerful posture. Have you been afraid of failures and disappointment in school or at home? Were you upset because you scored less in a test? Now, after knowing Jesus' assurance of victory after failure, what will be your reaction or attitude in the case of disappointments? Or pitfalls. Do you think you could smile at Jesus in the midst of a failure? How do you think you can train yourself not to be afraid of failures? Give us answers to Jesus' presence in you and speaking to you in the Word of God. You just heard the word of God that talks about the parable of the sower. Will y'all boys and girls from today, whenever y'all face a failure, smile and accept what comes your way and not question your faith about why God, why, why is this happening to me? This, my friends, is our test of life and failures are only going to help us win this test because it is going to make us a much stronger person than what we are. This prayer I make to Christ our Lord. Amen. So now that you all have learned about the parable of the sower, okay, so you all have to now go and tell others the parable also and explain to others the mama, papa, uh, neighbors, auntie, uncle, whoever is in your house. Don't go outside. This is in your house, okay? Stay home. And explain to them about this parable. Like how Jesus is sitting in his boat and his disciples around and he had all the other followers around him. So you all also want to allow to do that. Sit on, sit on like a sofa, some high sofa and make everybody sit down and explain the parable to them of whatever you all have seen. And... Tell somebody to click those photos and send them to us on WhatsApp and we'll make one nice little collage for our class. Fine? This is what you'll have to do. So now is now coming to the fun activity part that you'll have this week. One is I want you all to write down what are the obstacles you'll face in your school. Two, what are the obstacles you'll have facing at home? And three. 
what are the obstacles that you know that others are facing for example you know a boy is being bullied a girl is being bullied can you like help them is there a possible okay if not that it's fine okay and fourth you have to tell us about how you going to tackle at least the first and second obstacle how you going to tackle how you going to work against the obstacle at at school or how you going to work at the obstacles at home now for some th- some thing in creativity i want you all to take a plastic container okay and recyclable recycled one so use a plastic container so i've used this i i eat a lot of those curds so i use this container and uh, you take some maybe some cereals so i've taken like little moong i've taken a lot of them all of this a lot of them so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put soil in this i'm going to put some soil and i'm going to put some moong okay now when i on above the soil i'm going to put some stones and on that also i'll put some moong fine and i'll wait for the plant to grow now when you all see now when i was putting it putting this moong only this some fell on the table so nothing is going to grow so all of this take some nice pictures photographs and you can send it to us on the on the email or the or on uh, or on whatsapp and we will make a nice little uh, we will mark your attendance this is how you get your attendance if you don't want your attendance then you all don't do this activity but all those who want attendance has have to do this fine and for the last part i'm going to send you all an image of uh the it's a black and white image of this this entire parable and you all have to color that so i will send it to you all on whatsapp take a nice print out and color it with all the lovely colors that you all have and send that to us as well fine you all will do all of this till i come back and teach you all the next parable not don't wait for me to come to the end but the next week so all of this please send them to us and we will mark your attendance and not more than attendance we want to see we want to see your participate okay so i want to see your participate as we are also participating and both of and help both of us in this online sunday school theek hai fine Fair enough. Okay, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Okay. I will teach all a fun, nice action song, which all will learn the steps while I teach all, and then we will dance on that entire song once again, and have fun. And we are back. We are back for another fun element in our today's online Sunday school. So are you all excited for? an action song yes i know you are okay so now what i'm going to do is now that we studied about the sower and the first example that i gave of the boy who's training himself to be a gymnast and they don't give up and then they try 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 and try hard till the time they succeed in that entire process of trying there is so much of uh what do you say pain there's so much of grief there's so much of sick that they also go through sickness and but they don't give up that's the whole beauty of it right so today in this action song we are going to trade all our sorrows all our shame all our pain all our sickness to god and we and we tell him that we're trading it so that with we are trading it for your support and you support us to be successful help us in whatever we do and you be be by our side Are we ready to trade all our pain, sorrow, sickness, everything? Yes. So I'm going to teach all the steps, and then after that we dance both together. Yes. Okay. So for the first thing is, you are you are watch Shah Rukh Khan, right? So it is the famous step that he does. So for this we will only move our left hand down. Okay. So I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down to the joy of the Lord. So the joy of the Lord is you take your hand up and you stomp your left feet. Okay, stop. For sickness, you'll do with your right hand. Right? I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down 
to the joy of the Lord. Stomp your feet. Say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Got it? Now for we'll do a fun ula la la. Ula la la, you will walk towards your right side. Ula la 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 la. Ula la 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 la. La 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 la. Amen. Ready? Number three. Get ready, everybody. Three, two, one. Music. gmail.com or you can send it to your teachers if you know your allocated classes send them also individually on whatsapp do not forget to do your assignments those three questions that i've asked then the planting of the seed and also the coloring of the artwork that i've given to you fine don't forget to send this also on whatsapp or email to your catechist I will see you all next Sunday once again, same time, same place, to so for our online Sunday school. Till then, stay safe.